All right, it is December 31st, New Year's Eve, and this is the batch we got in today. So we got uh, 20 601s and we got 30 Nerd QX Plus Pluses. I'm going to start to get these packed up and out. Unfortunately, tomorrow, since it is New Year's, there is no uh, UPS or FedEx drop-off or pickups. So uh, January uh, 2nd, I'll get all these dropped off to the carrier for you guys and if you guys are interested check out my website soloblock.io we have pre-stock and currently actually for the first time in a while we might have you know some things in stock which we can ship out as soon as possible and those are going to be the bidax 601s so we had some 403s and 703s in stock maybe for about half a day but we've never had you know like 20 units available so if you guys are interested in 601s they're currently 90 uh 92 dollars if i'm not mistaken 92 or 94 dollars on the website and you can place orders for those and they will go out with the same uh batch here there are a few extra orders i had to fulfill and once those get fulfilled the rest is here for you guys to order and i know a lot of you guys have been waiting for the uh 4.8 terahash nerd qx plus pluses i got 30 of them here this is going to fulfill a lot of you guys orders and yeah, I'm excited to get these out. I'm going to be packing these all night, all the way into 2026, I guess. So I also wanted to talk about the giveaway here. A few people had questions. So we are giving away a Bitax 403. This is 0.7 terahashes. And to enter the giveaway, you just need to make a purchase on the website and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So this is one of the giveaways. The next giveaway is going to be a Bitax GT800. 2.4 tera hashes has a XT30 connector, a nice chunky fan on it to keep it cool, and this is a pre-market board, and yeah, and the thing I think most people are excited about is this Bitcoin node. So this is a custom-built Bitcoin node I made myself. Um, it has a i5 processor. It's a HP NUC mini PC. With um, yeah, i5 processor, I upgraded the RAM to 16 uh, gigabytes, and I upgraded the storage to two terabytes. I have Umbrel OS pre-installed in here, and this thing is honestly really cool. So Umbrel OS, this does support Wi-Fi, but when you're running Umbrel OS, as of as what I know of, I, it doesn't support Wi-Fi, so you need to hook it up with uh, ethernet you could put this anywhere i you know would just have this sitting upstairs next to my router and you, with umbrella os you don't like plug in a monitor into your pc and view it you just do it through the web browser you'll just type in the ip address and it's really cool in umbrella os you can also download something called tail tail scale i believe it's called i'll go through it into the video which is like a free vpn you can remotely access your mini pc from anywhere in the world. And what that allows you to do is connect to your network, which means then you can download another application into here, kind of like Hash Watcher, where you can uh, view your miners. So you'll use the VPN from your phone, type in the IP address, you're gonna, and then you'll see, you can fully use this with all of the functions through your phone anywhere you are. You don't have to be near your network. And then there's an app in here that you can download, which will allow you to view all of your miners. So it's a really cool, easy, simple way to be able to monitor your miners without having to come home and, you know, do all that or find out how to use a VPN. And it just makes it very simple. All you do is log in with your Google account. And I'll kind of go over that for you guys. So if you guys are wondering, the giveaway is ending January 11th at 11.59 p.m. There's going to be three winners, obviously, one for each. And it's going to be a random drawing, one entry per person. So any order you place will get you entered in and yeah so let me just go into uh, i gotta hook this back up upstairs with the ethernet and then let me get on the computer and i'm going to show you guys what the umbrella os looks like and how the tail scale tail scale or tail snail i forgot what it was called tail scale works and features of the umbrella os and the bitcoin node you can also do bitcoin knots and if you are you know a little bit more tech savvy and you would like to tinker with stuff there are YouTube videos out there that show you how to use Umbrella OS to mine Bitcoin Cash. So you can have your own Bitcoin Cash node. 
it's a little bit more involved but you know majority of people are just going to be using it for bitcoin and if you guys don't know um with umbrella os i believe it's been two people already who have hit a bitcoin block on their own umbrella os node their own bitcoin node using umbrella os i should say this thing honestly is is, is rock solid this thing probably weighs like three pounds so this is not like uh, the actual Umbrella OS unit you get that has like a cheapo CPU. This thing, it, it, it's solid. And um, originally had 8 gigabytes of RAM and it would take like a long time to download the Bitcoin block. But, I'm sorry, the the actual whole uh, blockchain. But once I upgraded it, so halfway through I turned it off, I upgraded the RAM and it just, man, it just downloaded everything super fast. So this thing is pretty powerful for what it is. Um, I mean, I guess, you know, if you get bored of it in the future and you don't really want to node anymore, you can just reflash Windows on here and you just have a mini PC with 16 gigs of RAM and 2 terabytes of storage. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and show you guys what this is all about. All right, I'm going to show you guys how easy it's going to be to set up this new Bitcoin node. So I've done basically everything for you. So essentially all you have to do is plug it into power and plug it into Ethernet. Then after that, you're going to go to any web browser that's connected to the same network as the Bitcoin node. Then you're going to, like for example, Google, Chrome, Safari. You're going to go to the top. You're going to type in umbrella.local. You hit enter. This is going to pop up. There may be a password screen before this. If there is, I'll send you the password. So here's the apps. So Umbrella OS is its own operating system and it has its own apps that you can use and download. So here's the Bitcoin node itself. We'll look at this. 100% synchronized. Here are the peers that you are connected to. So if you have a winning block or if anybody here that you're connected to has a winning block, you either propagate the winning block to them or they propagate it to you and you spread it out to the rest of the blockchain. And that's how it's confirmed. Oh, new block right there, validated. That's what it, what it looks like when there's a new block. So when you have a winning block, you're going to propagate that to these other people and they're going to propagate it to other people and quickly the blockchain catches on and knows that you have solved the block successfully and then you're going to go ahead and claim that entire 3.125 Bitcoin for the reward. So the UI is pretty cool. It shows you know what part of the world, who you're connected to and it shows you the previous blocks. On the bottom here might be cut off a little bit but there's insights so you can see the, uh, the block rewards the mempool, the blockchain size, how many minutes your node has been up, how many peers you're connected to when you start propagating your winning block, median fee. So all of this stuff is gonna be here. Here's the settings. So there's some advanced settings here. You can obviously watch other YouTube videos. I'm not really gonna get into that too much here. And let's just back out here. So this is the Bitcoin node. And what I was mentioning to you earlier, it's called tail scale. Oh, before I get to that. So Bitcoin node is the blockchain, but when you want to mine to your own node, you're going to use public pool. It's a, think of it as like your own private pool. What will happen is you are going to mine directly to your node without anybody else being in this pool essentially. And to set it up on, to mine to your own pool is very simple. When you go into like your bit axes, where it asks for the stratum URL, you essentially just put umbrella.local and then you put your Bitcoin address on the bottom and followed by your worker name and password X, I believe it is. Um, that's how the public pool works. We can open that up. Exactly. So stratum plus TCP is going to be umbrella.local 2018. Your username is just going to be your Bitcoin address followed by a dot. Then your worker name, password is X. And then you'll see all of your workers here. Um, I don't really have anybody. Do I have somebody working right here? Well, I think it's stopped by now. But anyway, so that's how you mine to your own pool. You use public pool. So these apps will come pre-installed for you. Another cool thing is tail scale. So this is already pre-installed here. If you want it or don't want it, you can delete it or leave it. But this thing is awesome. It's free to use. And what you will do is you log in to Tailscale here to your own account. You can just log in with your Gmail account, and then you're gonna download Tailscale on a different device like your cell phone. Then on your cell phone, you open up the Tailscale app. When you turn on the VPN, now it's like you're connected directly to this device. 
to this Bitcoin node on your own home network, even when you're not home. So what you can do is just go to your cell phone and type in umbrella.local or sorry, not umbrella.local. When you go to tail scale on your phone, it will show you all of the devices that you have connected to and their IP addresses. So we'll show this IP address here for your Bitcoin node. And then when you type in this IP address on your phone's browser, it's going to take you to this page right here. And from this page, you can control the entire Bitcoin node. Now, another step to that is I downloaded Bitax Sentry. So you can re-download this. It has my miners on here, but you can re-download it. It's free. There's an app store here. When you download Bitcoin Bitax Sentry, now you can view all of your miners. So I know you guys may have heard today that Hashwatcher is available for Android phones for people who have Androids. It wasn't available before. Hashwatcher is a um, software that you can use to view your Bitax devices, but it only works when you're on your uh, own home network or whatever network your your miners are set to. But this no matter where you are since you're connected with a vpn you can view all of your miners through your bitcoin node so it's it's honestly pretty cool and yeah it gives you like flexibility to be able to monitor your miners without actually being home and look at all the stats so it's pretty awesome so this doubles as a bitcoin node and a hash watcher essentially and there you can also have the mempool on here which is really cool and you can view this yourself from your device being away from your network as well if you guys haven't seen mempool here here's all the blocks in order that were just previously mined and you can see so foundry usa is a huge mining company they win majority of the blocks if i'm not mistaken they are probably the largest um miners like company that mines the most blocks and you'll see here you know when it says ck pool that was a solo miner so ant miner or ant pool they win a lot via btc they mine a lot of blocks and then past this uh checkered line here these are the future blocks and you can see transactions are adding up here because just like credit card processing in bitcoin when transactions happen a small transaction fee is paid and whoever finds the block not only do you get 3.125 bitcoin you also get transaction fees so so far this transaction fee in this block has added up to 0 0.008 bitcoin 0.7 just went up to 0 0.08 so whenever this block is solved whoever solves it keeps 3.125 plus this amount here and as you can see these amounts are less on average a block gets solved about every 10 minutes let's say bitcoin price goes up very high and now people with miners big miners who can now afford to start mining again because bitcoin is uh the price is so high that the electricity cost doesn't really affect them as much anymore the hash rate is going to go up on the network and then bitcoin will automatically make the difficulty harder which means it will always try to stabilize at 10 minutes so if there's too many people mining and they're solving blocks like every five minutes Bitcoin will automatically, the network will increase the difficulty level to bring the average to about 10 minutes. It doesn't mean that every 10 minutes one will get solved exactly, but it's pretty consistent. Sometimes it might take 20, 30, I've seen 40 minutes, an hour to solve a block. But and then a little bit later, you'll see like multiple blocks get solved a little bit quicker. But what happens is it usually always is around 10 minutes. And you can see right here, 10 minutes and 20 seconds is the average time to find a block. So what will happen is if you guys have noticed when you send Bitcoin, sometimes there's a few different options on how much you want to pay to send your Bitcoin. It can be like 12 cents, 15 cents, 30 cents. What happens is when you offer to pay more, you will be in this block right here. So your transaction will complete faster. But if you're not in a rush, you want to be low priority or no priority. You can pay a lesser amount and you can be in one of these blocks and you're uh, transaction will confirm maybe in like 30 40 minutes rather than like within the next few minutes or 10 minutes because you're paying lesser of a transaction fee so i kind of just want to give you an overall of how this works and what you're even looking at but this thing is super cool you know if you have this up on your computer all day and you're just like watching this you it's pretty cool you can see who solves the block you never know one day it might be you or it might be somebody from ck pool and one thing that just came to mind as well is you know as i'm shipping out all these miners I just did a, like a rough calculation. I think I've probably by now, I've already shipped out maybe over a petahash of miners. And that means, you know, if I keep going, you know, like let's say I do this for like a year, 
I can probably easily have like, I don't know, I mean, maybe an exahash or a few hundred petahash that I have sent out to customers. That means like it's almost inevitable that eventually one of my customers is going to find a Bitcoin block. And that's that's crazy to think about. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll be if you guys ever find the block, man, you guys better let me know. That's going to be awesome. So you can adjust these widgets here. So the blockchain is 100% synced right now. When you guys receive it, it'll probably be like 98, 99, but it will automatically sync as soon as you hook it up to the internet. And here's the storage. So it is two terabytes of storage. The blockchain is pretty big. Currently it's a, almost at one terabyte, but this has some extra room in it. So you'll be good for a long, long time. So you have another terabyte of storage. So you don't have to worry about that at all. 16 gigs of RAM, it's only using six gigabytes. And you can tell the CPU was more than fast enough you're barely even using any um, power from the CPU. And uh, let's see, what else is there here that I can show you guys? Block height. So all these are customizable. You can have multiple widgets. You can actually have multiple windows. Uh, you can like scroll to the left and right. There's an app store here. Where is the app store? I believe it's right here. Yep, here's the app store. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff you can download. And yeah, you guys can, you know, obviously uh, just take a look at it. It's really cool. I like Umbrella OS. It makes it very simple and easy to run your own node. And since there's people already hitting blocks on it, it's like motivating a lot of people to get into it. It helps with decentralization. You know, let's say, I don't know, EMP attack and all the miners in the world go down. And if you're the last person left and you're running your own node at home, you're going to sustain the entire blockchain. And, you know, it helps people not like centralize all of the mining so much in these huge mining facilities. So it, it's cool that people around, you know, in their homes will be able to just set up their own Bitcoin node and, you know, help support the decentralization. But this is the Umbrella OS and the Bitcoin node I'm giving away. Remember, guys, it's going to end on Sunday, Ju uh, January 11th at 11.59 p.m. Who, anybody who has placed an order from the very beginning um, all the way until that, the time when the giveaway is ending and you must... Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and and, and I, we already hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Honestly, that's that's surprising. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all that. And I hope the channel continues to grow and I hope I can continue to provide you guys your mining equipment. Um, and yeah, I'm, you know, I'm in the works of talking to these factories and honestly getting, you know, working on these really cool projects. And I hope to release something probably within the next maybe month or so or two months of probably something you guys have never seen before. It's it's a solo it's solo mining equipment, and I don't want to give away too much. But so far, I I haven't seen this anywhere at all. And yeah, hopefully, you know, we can get this all worked out. And I I'll probably be the first person or the only person to have it, and I'll bring it to you guys right away um, to give you guys like you know cool things to buy because I know some of the um, miners out there they've been out on the market for a little bit now, but. Manufacturers are coming out with new things, but I'm working with them to kind of custom design something. But yeah, so this, you know, that's everything I wanted to say. So if you guys, you know, enter the contest, if you want to support me, check out my website. Majority of stuff is in pre-sale, um, but I, you know, the 601s are going to be in stock shipping right away. And I really hope that um, you know, eventually I'm going to have stock of everything. So I'm catching up on like orders like crazy right now. As you can see, the past like three days I've gone shipments in. And my next shipments, um, they're going to be much larger, so I'll have extra extra in stock. So if you guys are super impatient and you can't wait, just maybe subscribe to the email or I have text message marketing. So if you guys go ahead and um, go to my website on the bottom left, you can sign up for text message marketing. Um, like, for example, last night I dropped the um, the Octax Titan 12 Tera hash and I sent a text message blast out to, and they were the first people notified. If you guys want to be notified of cool drops like that just sign up to the text message blast you know i won't spam you guys i'll just occasionally send you a text message and i'm not going to do it in like you know a weird time of the day you know maybe like 11 a.m hopefully that's not weird you know it gives you guys enough time to wake up and you know hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much but if you are interested sign up for the text message blast and yeah thank you guys again for supporting and if you guys have any questions let me know thank you guys and have a good new year's thanks bye